we have stumbled upon the surreal life from VH1. And this was in the early 2000s and kicked off the majority of the VH1 trash reality wars as we know it. Yeah, this was recommended by a viewer. I didn't know what it was. So this will be my introduction to this whole thing. This show was to pretty much put all of the stars from the past, let's say, into a house and stress them out so we can record them. There's a new show, it's called The Surreal Life. This is kind of interesting. I heard about this. Yeah, same house. <laughs> so they use this same house for Rock of Love, for Flavor of Love, for I Love New York. All the VH1 shows basically had this same house. Hammer. Vince Neal, Emmanuel Lewis, Randy Roderick, Gabrielle Criteris, Corey Feldman, and Jerry Manthe from Survivor. Corey Feldman! Oh, I'm into this. They're gonna have to duke it out over who's- And Jerry from Survivor, remember her? No, no. These are the rules that I saw in the newspaper. No smoking in the house, there's no access to personal vehicles, no computers, no internet. It's gonna be a train wreck. All right, traffic and weather's coming up next. This is a real life newspaper. So I guess we get one of these every day. Now what, what year, oh, who is that girl? Is that the girl? I am Corey. They made him cut off the front rat tail. Oh. His hair is super blonde. Is this before or after the two Corys? Way before. Before. This is like 2001. Two Corys was like 2012 or 10 or something. Okay. I am an icon, I am a, an establishment. This was the first uh, total box office, 322 million. This was the first uh, reality-ish show where it included people like this. The other side, I was much more sure of myself. Much more sure of himself. So this is your first chance to see that Corey Feldman actually is a douchebag. Is that what's her name from the show? No, it's not. It's, is that Susie? That's not Susie. I hate I know her name. Is love, a companion. I mean, all I ever wanted was somebody that totally understood. He dated a lot of women that looked like that. Susie. I guess so. Susie and I feel like we're married already. <gasps> it is Susie, it's my Susie. bad. Yeah, it's Whoa. Her. never met a girl that was more... Why does she look younger lately? Well, because she's just... Liking... Probably had work done. Oh, right. Very nice. Wow, he was with her for a while then. Go down. It's very nice. God, I feel like I'm, I'm here for Emmanuel Lewis. I don't know, but <laughs> a very tumultuous life. And my big thing is, I'm all about image repair. <laughs> at this point, this could end up being a good thing. Plenty of beer. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, no food. Do you see where the VH1 formula started to brew? Right. Vince still ever made his own bed? No. That's what maids are for. I think people learn that there's a there's a Vince Neil. Then there's Vince. You either love me or you hate me. I'm the biggest ass in the world or the nicest guy in the world. Right now, Motley Crue. He's the lead singer of Motley Crue. Oh, wow. So in the meantime, I put together a bunch of my buddies. And that was my thing about these bands. Like, Motley Crue is actually edgy. Poison with Brett Michaels is like powder puff. These reality shows. Like, this guy probably actually worshiped the devil and, and like sacrificed human beings. Sure, sure. He's also a role model to young women. He's a father of like three or four. I don't know, it, it seemed, uh, it seemed kind of cool. The other thing is that there were, you know, this was a check and for people that hadn't worked in a while, it was an opportunity to possibly get back into some kind of limelight. Right. That's what Feldman was banking on. Maybe it worked. All right, man, how's it going? Maybe. Very so cool. Have we officially met? We have now. Yeah. Well, welcome. This is cool. This is it. And you're going to appreciate this. The 80s Andy Warhol capsulized iconisms <laughs> of us. I actually like that. OK, so I'll show you the bedrooms. There's the confessional. You want to talk about everybody. Ah, bunk beds. Yeah, that's fine. A lot of orange. <laughs> I see. OK, never mind. You know what? To share. We're Where's the room where, uh, what's his name, puked all over the place? <laughs> we just saw Daisy of Love. Right. And he definitely, one of the guys puked all over one of the bathrooms. Same house. You are all responsible Rented for your limousine. Super babe, Brandy Rodman. Oh, Lord. Give me a break. I don't know who that actor? is. Actor? She was an actor. Brandy, Brandy Roderick. Playboy's been just a great family to me. Playboy. Playboy. Okay. Oh. Oh, she was on Baywatch. Oh, okay. She looked no, she wasn't on Baywatch. She was on Baywatch Hawaii. <laughs> a show I've never even heard of. The spinoff? Baywatch Nights? He didn't yeah, know. well, that one I've heard of. Okay, he's a genuine television hey. star. Why do they put him in a small car? That's uh, uh, tough. You guys remember Emmanuel Lewis? Please tell me you did. You're our age. What was the show called? Uh, he still looks like he's 12, and he's like 50. Now you get a chance to say some of the funniest lines that you'd never think. Webster. Webster, what are you talking about, Webster? 
Make That's not the right show. And you're a kid. Different strokes. Oh, you're right. What you talking about, Willis? Oh, my God. A kid from Brooklyn. They yeah, all look the same to you. How? <laughs> You know, oh my god, oh, that sucked. How long did they wait to film that? Just I one know. stroke. <laughs> we only had 18 screamers off the tee and he missed one time. Oh, like, I'm not going to lunch until I'm... I get the crap I need. What's up? Oh, yeah. Good to see you. Hey, what's happening? How's How it going, man? Yeah, what sucks is that he's a grown man. He's an older man. Yeah. You want the tour? Established man. Yeah, give it to you. I'm, I'm going to go out. And, you know. He's not look, and especially in the very, very early 2000s, he's looked at kind of still as, <laughs> you know, the, the kitty was being yeah. played. Telephone conversations will be recorded in my movie. Beverly Hills 90210. Oh, okay. Andrea from Beverly Hills. All right, Hills. so she's a real TV star. Yeah, legit. Everyone watched that show. I am not here to be anybody's mom. I got two kids of my own and a husband. That's not my job to be their mom. Okay, so it's, she's probably more well grounded, hopefully. Right. When I go in public, it's and she played a lot of grounded people. So they know the show 90210. I don't think that they realize. Still that a good show, by the way. If you go back and rewatch some of those episodes, they're kind of cheesy, but they're still well done. Fight me. Everyone watched that show. <laughs> Please hammer door, heard them on a global basis, you know, sold 17, 18 million albums. I didn't know at the time what would happen three or four years down the road, but, you know, reorganizing, following the bankruptcy and all that, uh. required a man being too legit to quit. Ordained minister. All he talks about is his own songs. I have uh, five kids. There is no price that can be placed upon. Five kids. Sure. Kids. Oh, I go insane. Ministry, which is my com my commitment to God, that makes up the world of Hammer. Family, business, and on top of all of that, God. Okay. Look, I don't have a problem with that. Find peace. You know, don't. I'd rather hear and see this type of person in some ways than a bunch of Corey Feldman's today flailing around and. I'd rather see Hammer hang out with Vince Neil than any of that Daisy. <laughs> <or Rush. laughs> All those people are without redemption. This is our room. <laughs> oh my god. Man. You want the top? You go ahead on and get the top broke, bro. No. Oh. <laughs> He's really happy about this. Yeah. He's laughing hard. Oh my god. There's no room for food. <laughs> All right, first one down. Okay, so Vince Neil's not clean. He's gonna drink all of those beers. What are you doing? You. <laughs> Hello, random Playboy model. Remember, when this show came out, it wasn't like, oh, everyone's dying to be on this. This was on VH1, which wasn't very popular at the time. Not a big funded show. This concept of this show was complete circus train wreck. So they kind of got who they could. One of them was somebody from Survivor, not the winner of Survivor. Just someone who was known as a jerk in Survivor. No. Oh. So, to kind of get Who's what you get. Good at stirring up trouble. Right. Yeah. Mm. Well, we'll see. I'm not complaining. We need Corey Feldman. I'm sure he's gonna crowbar in some dancing. Yeah. I'm, 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 oh, of course. And with Hammer there, like. Oh yeah. What's that gonna look you're like? You're right. You're right. We're both artists. <laughs> like both of us can dance. I know we both. <laughs> Collectively, have sold 50 million albums. <laughs> the number one thing that I'm happiest about so far is nobody came up in here with an attitude. You know what, you guys? Our food right now is Miller Beer. Brought to you by Miller Beer. Oh, I don't get it. I think we're going grocery shop. This money is for groceries and house supplies. Call this real taxi to take you shopping. There's five. So this is the other thing, is on this show, they have tasks, but there's no win or lose in going home. It's more of just putting them in stressful situations and then watching them break down. turkey tacos? Yeah, turkey tacos, fine. I can see Roll's already starting to kind of form a little bit. Gabrielle, she's very motherly. I thought, you know, I'll help by organ. Didn't she say she didn't want to be the mom? Yeah. Can't fight it. Take and I took it. Hey, you know what? It changed my life. It was great. It was great to do it. I loved it. I love the people and I love leaving. Oh, she's, they're married. Oh, they're married. They're they married baby, and they have right? a baby. That's I, your ex-wife? Yeah. I didn't know I went that. out with her. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> Is, he went out with his ex-wife? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Hopefully you had as much fun as I did. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. This is weird. I'm sure Vince and I have dated <laughs> many of the same girls down the path. I didn't know it was so my ex-wife in particular, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> That's a weird conversation. I ended up holding on this. <laughs> they took him to Whole Foods. And we just started filling baskets. Scaring all the old white ladies with raw talent. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, get a good bottle of wine. You have nothing but booze at the house, but not the kind you want. Right. Yeah. I need Pinot Grigio. We call this food library. And they're all buying food. It's really funny. As we check out, we realized that the bathroom was too full. We have a budget of $500. They weren't even counting money. They weren't even, so we right. Reevaluate what we're doing. That is a completely Discard. stuffed. Discard into the third cart. Here's, here's the go back. Here's the go back basket. Everybody's like, well, this is important. That is not important. But everybody's not realizing that I don't eat normal food. <laughs> Of course not. No, 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 no. I'm not saying this specifically yeah, is important. But, I'm just saying, like, right. I've got to pay attention to what this year because it right, just could end up being I don't get to eat for the next I love it. Don't forget I love this. And that's is there, is for there taxes. taxes. On food? Yes. Is that new? Chance that Corey Feldman can starve to death on this program. I really, I'm really into it if that's true. She just asked why there tax on food. We get uh, six idiots not really knowing what to do. It was a little irritating. This is the show. Okay. Well, I might be here for it. Because then their personalities start coming out. Right. There's no real interact. There's no Ricky Rackman. There's no. <laughs> there's nobody to kind of write the ship. It turns out I'll watch Corey Feldman in anything. Yeah, I guess me too. Not here yet. But especially this. This is better than the last couple of things we saw, man. Yeah, they're putting him in a cage and then kind of just watching. Uh, grocery shopping. <laughs> All of you. Yeah. How'd it go? Oh, it's a phone tapped phone. That's why they have to make it on that. Ah, oh, right, of course. Like that Vince was, you know, kind of the rock and roll kind of guy. He really is dressed like a 50 year old guy that's been drinking a lot. Yeah, I know. You would think, like, I don't know, just like with rock stars, and you just have this perception of them all the time. Right. Just kind of being really chill and He just cool has, like, a fleece pullover. Yeah, no, it's just kind of in limbo right now. The vegetarian wants extra butter. Oh, I love the fat. Right. No, I'm vegetarian for moral reasons. <laughs> She's wearing leather shoes, aren't you? Oh, oh, oh. That has nothing to do with being a vegetarian. <laughs> I don't know how many vegetarians you actually know. Vegetarian with leather right. shoes. That, that vegan with leather that's shoes would be the problem. Oh, I see. So, okay, right, right, right. It's not your reason, so it's the wrong reason. No, that's, that's not true. Happy. Anybody who's got moralistic reasons are moralistic reasons. If you've got health reasons, that's great. You but just that's didn't not. say that. You said it's the wrong reach, reason. Reach Turn the water off, please. Household has a core. I was just stating my case, which is animals have souls and hearts and brains and, you know, deserve to be loved, you know, and I don't think they deserve to be eaten. Anyway. I don't kill animals because I don't believe in killing animals, period, end of story. Gabrielle is definitely taking on the Jewish neurotic mother position in the house. I didn't come in here telling her what to wear. And to me, it's a bit confusing when people throw an opinion at you and say, this is the way it must be. We're two strong people. And we're going to have a hard time on this trip. I wouldn't say strong. But we found out it's the, the, the uh, survivor. The hammer with the paper towels. Um, I know, how surreal. Uh, well, <laughs> right. so. MC just MC Hammer just walked by with toilet paper. The evil villain, the bitch. And we got to have her on this show because... Yeah, well, with no eliminations, it'll just be conflict. I signed up for this show because I'm absolutely crazy. I was really disappointed because I really thought Robin Givens was going to be in, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do this. But now it's a girl that I've never heard of before. Robin Gibbons? Robin from Howard Stern? No, no. Gibbons. No, that's Quivers. Robin Gibbons is uh, uh, Mike Tyson's ex-wife. Oh. It might be nourishment and strength for our bodies. Oh, she was hammer excited. Hammer prey. Vince is like, mm, I made too many deals with the devil. Yeah, I can't it, participate. He's like, I'm steaming. The, the smoke is coming off me now. Right. Is anybody home? Hi. How are you? Oh, OK, window. I'm Jerry. I'm Jerry, Brandy. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Oh, let's hug. We've never met. I was just a little disappointed because it wasn't somebody that I grew up watching that I was excited to meet and hang out with. It was someone I didn't even know. What is this? No, you're a Playboy. Right. You, you were a Playboy model at some point. Ah. And you were on Baywatch Hawaii. <laughs> I wasn't on Baywatch Hawaii. I'm just saying. Somebody's coming. <laughs> Reel in those expectations a little bit. Yeah, just come on. Oh my God! Can you imagine you walk into a place? I know. I have Corey. I'm like, oh, all that hair. All I knew is that Hammer actually had said that he had heard that she was a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I get all my social advice from MC Hammer. Yeah. <laughs> when possible. <laughs> you know, we probably live a better life if we did. When I heard the list of people that are going to be in this house, I laughed for like two days. I was like, oh, this is brilliant. You're not one of them. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh, I good, good uh, B-roll shot you got there. <laughs> After dinner, I called Susie because I promised her I would call her at the end of the night. Hello. Hi. Hey, baby. She was obviously. She spells her name differently now. To get it's S U S I E. All right. When she signed the Lost Boys poster. That's what's up. Is the other is the other girl pretty? Mm-hmm. The girl from Survivor. Yeah. 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 Really pretty or kind of pretty? Mm. <laughs> she's like a foot and a half away from me right now. What? He knows he's a big fella. No, no, no. Half away from me right now. Oh, five sickles. You can ask questions. I'll tell you yes or no. Is it fake book? No. Why are we going down the list? Gigantic fortune cookies waiting for us in the living room. I'm a little bit. You have met many people in your life. Some are close to you now, others are still strangers. Who would you like to know better? I'd like to know all you guys better. Aww. Oh, fake. But I, I do my best to uh, practice what I preach and always uh, find myself coming up short. Always. All right, it's your turn, Jerry. He seems like a pretty genuine dude. I am low maintenance. I'm very laid back. Um, I love the editing. No, I know. The what? They're like me. And they're pulling those shots from different <laughs> times. Like It's like morning and then afternoon. Right, they're yeah. making it whatever they want it to be. Oh, yeah. And that's okay. This is where, yeah. This Some is people don't know that that's oh, how they that's cut the stuff in. Uh, tell me about a really sad moment in your life. One time, I had a pet that uh, was sick, and then we were all sad about it. <laughs> oh man, that's tough. Hit in the head with an axe? Nearly killed when I was four years old. And I survived, but I wasn't quite the same. Uh, whenever I sit next to uh, white guys that make funny faces, I just lose it and um, start slapping. Any keep single that in woman mind. Only half the people are famous. You should watch them. Half? Oh, yeah. 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 Emmanuel, Vince Neil. Corey Feldman. Many men consider you their MC Hammer's not famous? MC Hammer's famous. And secure okay, so four out of the seven. Sometimes life hits you with a feather, sometimes it hits you with a brick. What was a brick in your life? I mean, the biggest, I mean, the brick was the death of my daughter. She was my daughter. I mean, and, you know, and, and something took her that I had no control of. You know, fathers are there to protect their children. Mm -hmm. And when you're not there to protect your kid and you have no way to protect them, that's the worst thing in the world. He really knows how to keep the room lively. Every rose <laughs> is the wrong <laughs> that I never anticipated. Shout at the devil! <laughs> Shout out to the devil! Z Hammer's in a child's bunk bed. Hell's <laughs> coming down. And they're in a giant, they're in a bright orange room. Yeah. What does that do to your mind after a certain amount of time? I don't know. He's <laughs> like, it's like clockwork orange. He's gonna turn you into some winter soldier. <laughs> yeah, he's just gonna you wake just up. Just get programmed with one word. That the entire experience is about two weeks total. So they're getting paid, like, I don't know, $50,000, $100,000, maybe less um, than a hundred. But they're being paid for two weeks, so it's all condensed. It's a real condensed two weeks, meaning every day they have something scheduled, seven days a week. So it is a bit of work, because you're on camera, you're expected to be smiley and chatting, and oh, what's the next objective? And is a single hook. Oh, okay. <laughs> Flattering photos. Corey. So Corey Feldman is having a swim, a morning swim with MC Hammer. Yeah. While Emmanuel Lewis watches. This is what you tuned in for. Yeah, that's what I tuned in for. It says, hey, sweetheart, hope your first day was exciting. I love you and miss you. Good luck to all of you. Oh, love Susie. Oh, that's so nice. Sweet. Thank you, Susie. Oh, so lame. They're already catty about Susie, and Susie's not even there. Like He, he had his girlfriend send in flowers to him with a card I'm sure he wrote himself. Oh, sure. He's capable of that. There were signs, guys. We saw signs of this, and we did nothing. Brandy to Jerry, you're no Robin Givens. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, Look at the picture. <laughs> He's like, what? I don't even. <laughs> this doesn't include me. I felt like she really didn't belong here. Maybe because everyone else are actors and musicians. I don't know. Maybe because she was on a reality show. Why do you have such a pro- Emmanuel Lewis hasn't been in anything in like 20 years. 30, 40 years. 30, I'm trying to be nice. 
But no, so you know, I don't know why you'd have that big of a problem with so. Jerry or whatever. In the kitchen, there were all these containers of brownies, and I said maybe we want to walk around the neighborhood and say hello. And That's cracked out. No, let's go make Hi. a big impact. Let's go. <laughs> we'll freak them out. You stay in the house. I think we, we should go out and say hi to everybody. And again, this neighborhood is not like anyone's neighborhood that we know. It's uh, in the hills of Hollywood, and they're filming a show with many vans and stuff taking up a private driveway or whatever. Hey, there is the assistant manager of a Supercuts that lives right next door to me. Oh, okay. So we know. So we're familiar with fame and celebrity. Class. We're your neighbors. Just came right out in front of everybody. Yeah, right. I'll, Especially for you. Good. I eat no brownies ever. I will bury this in the backyard. Yeah. She's like. I think your dog is. Did Emmanuel touch these? <laughs> Just pointing out people's foot. <laughs> I wouldn't eat anything those people brought me. No. No. Well, you know the neighborhood. I kind of want to see more Vince Neil shit yeah. now. Really. Like, he's a 50-year-old guy that still has long hair, but dresses like he's going to the country club. It is, yeah, it is different. It is odd. He's got, like, a snake devil tattoo, but he's, like, wearing New Balance shoes that your grandpa wears to drive his Corvette. <laughs> oh, my God. Where did this go? Is that Susie Feldman? <laughs> it looks like her. And sushi all over her. Oh, what a trooper you are. Huh? Hammer, he just, like, Arr! Right when I was going, ah. he, his skin looks great. It does. However yeah, old he is, like, he right. looks great. He's 50. Oh my God. Uh, I don't necessarily need a naked woman on my table for dinner. Oh my this goodness. Is so awesome. And what is your need? Good sushi? I'll put up with some. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> he's at her he's feet. He's eating her feet. He doesn't care. He's just bite off his toe. He's like eating a week. <laughs> I don't know that, but I don't eat sushi. Okay, but that's not the reason why I'm not eating. Do us a favor and don't make us be wrong. No, you're not okay. wrong. If you're going to preach to the choir, you better be able to sing, too. And I don't do things without my fiance. If she had joined us for dinner, I would gladly pull up a seat and figure out something I could eat. You don't do what things without her? You, you don't, you don't eat dinner happens. without her? You eat dinner three days without her? No, with the naked girl. And okay, then so say that then. Yeah, he has standards. That, you know, he couldn't be around another girl without his girlfriend. <laughs> that, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so full of it. So full of it. She must have been with Susie, though. <laughs> I miss you, my baby. Shit. Oh, he's back on the phone Dad. with her. Yeah. Okay. So he's been crowbarring her into all of it. This was like 2001, guys, when this yeah. wasn't even known at all. So he's pretty desperate getting her into as much as possible. Yeah. He's here for her. <laughs> oh, my God. Why does that turn me on? <laughs> no, no, no. You scare me. I love you. I too. I love you. I too. I just I'm going crazy. I can't wait to see you. you. He's, he's going crazy without her. He's going crazy. So crazy. We had to go to the store. When I ordered pizza, and it was late and burnt, but much better than sushi off a cold naked girl. And now, Corey is doing a lot of stuff with cold naked girls. <laughs> Wait a minute, that sounded weird. <laughs> All I said was that there was, a, there was a time in my life a few years ago where I, you know, slated them in. Literally, just like you said, you say one, four times. Yeah, one in the four. morning I would have come wake me up, you know, and we'd go to breakfast, and then she'd leave, and I'd have another one scheduled to come over for lunch, and we'd go out <laughs> and have lunch and do whatever, and then, you know, on to the next one. So how is this coming off to you guys? He's bragging. Still an addict. He calls it addict, I call it freak. You know, she can taunt me or whatever, but it's nothing that I really take to heart. I think Jerry will say exactly what's, what's on her mind, and she has an opinion. I like Jerry. It is difficult being an assertive woman. It's a man's world. We all know that. But when a woman stands up and says, hey, uh-uh, that's probably more what <laughs> How did you get here? Right. Teleport away, Tamara. Like willing to take that rule right. versus, versus a man. People have a problem with that, which they are not able to do. No, I, we, pe humans mostly just yeah. don't like jerks, right? Doesn't matter what you claim you are or how you want to be addressed. If you're kind of a jerk, then you're a jerk. Oh, man, after every conversation with him, I'd be like, Hammer, go, Hammer, Hammer. <laughs>
<laughs> That'd be so annoyed. annoying. Amazingly fortunate to have found Susie. All my life, I... My God, this is... He's... Yeah, and he has this cringy body language when he talks to her. Trust me. Okay, pretend you're in love with me. We're on... <laughs> yeah. Hey, baby. Hi. Thank you so much for the you flowers. You got the flowers? Yeah. You sent him flowers, and he's happy with that. That's, uh... Um... So do you want to get married on TV? Serious. Yeah. They got. That's short notice, though. I know. I know. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, and you talk about a memorable experience. Everybody in the world would watch our wedding. You want to do it? I, do you? I mean, it, yeah. He is such an attention whore. Yeah. I can't put it into words. That's why we love him. Moment of knowing. I can't stress enough. Doing the right thing. Maybe a hundred thousand people would watch this show. He just riffraff with a different personality. He like just he'll do anything to get on anything. camera. This this is like a week and a half to two week experience, and he's shoving in his a, a marriage. He just wants to blow up and act like he don't know nobody. On <laughs> TV, whatever, do it. You're getting married on TV. Yeah, and Vince Neil's like, hey man, I eat rat blood and worship the devil. Like, <laughs> yeah. get married on TV. I don't care. This season on the surreal life. We're leaving here to go camping for the night. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't bury Emmanuel. There's some great roles waiting on Corey when he releases whatever happened eight years ago. Talent show for charity announced. Oh my God. Yeah, Vegas, here come the stars. The Palms Hotel is back in that way of Flamingo. They take him to Vegas. Vegas to church was godly perfection. He, oh. to start praying again. Did he take him to a black church? Changed. That's awesome. I want to go. I go with him. I think that music is amazing. I only won't make cuss me. Never. I didn't cuss you. Don't do this right now. Well, you're having just way too much attitude with me. You're making this really hard for me. I'm going now. We're raising our voices. I don't like it. I'm raising my voice. And his attitude. If he pisses me off, I might make a few waves. This is surreal life. What? It's surreal for me, this whole wedding. The half. I still don't know if it's going to happen. I'm trying to help out people I consider friends, and it's getting turned against me. <laughs> Come on, guys. You have to be into this. Anything with Corey and Vince, I'm in on. He's taking over the show. He's going to get married on this show. I right. totally forgot if that happened. That's cool. Uh, totally. Like and comment and vote for surreal life. It gets weirder. It gets weirder. All we do is sit on the couch and watch TV like we were gonna do anyway and bring you along. Like, here you are. You're right, you're right here. Yeah. Or, you know, over here, it's fine. Pretend to be the dog? Yeah, you're the coughing dog. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe if you're a coughing dog. <laughs>